यू आर वॉचिंग पी आर इंग्लिश शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज इंग्लिश शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन नंबर फोर एंड द डिक्टेशन स्पीड इज हंड्रेड वर्ड पर मिनट रेडी टॉर्ट द फर्स्ट सबमिशन ऑफ द लर्नेट काउंसिल फॉर द अपेलेंट इज दैट द चार्ज फ्रेम्ड against the appellant and accused number 1 was only for the offence punishable under section 22c of the ndps act the allegation as stated in the charge was that on 21st december 2003 the appellant and accused number 1 gave cartons of faultwin injections for interstate transportation without any valid license and in contravention of section 8c of the ndps act he submitted that no charge was framed against the appellant for the offence punishable under section 29 of the ndps act he submitted that the finding of the high court is that the appellant has been prosecuted and convicted for having sold contraband to an unauthorized person leading to the presumption that the contraband was sold to be used as an intoxicant he submitted that there is no evidence to show that the contraband contained in the consignment booked by the accused number 1 was purchased from the appellant he submitted that the courts have placed reliance on the statement of the appellant recorded under section 67 of the ndps act which is not admissible in evidence as held by this court in the case of tufan singh versus state of tamil nadu he submitted that apart from prejudice caused to the appellant on account of non framing of proper charge the allegation of conspiracy under section 29 of the ndps act was not put to the appellant in his statement recorded under section 313 of the code of criminal procedure 1973 he submitted that unless a charge of conspiracy under section 29 was proved the appellant could not be punished under section 22c of the ndps act the learned senior counsel appearing for the respondent submitted that the accused number 3 who examined himself as a defense witness placed on record invoices issued to the appellant for sending the fault win injections she submitted that the fact that 30 cartons of fault win injections were supplied by accused number 3 at the instance of the appellant has been established through evidence she submitted that there is enough evidence on record to show that the contraband was supplied to accused number 1 at the instance of the present appellant by the accused number 3 we have perused the notes of evidence and considered the submissions under section 8c there is a complete prohibition on possessing and transporting any narcotic drug or psychotropic substance in this case the contravention involves commercial quantity for which there is no dispute section 22 is attracted when in contravention of any provisions of the ndps act anyone possesses or transports a psychotropic substance in the facts of the case the consignment was booked by accused number 1 and therefore he was found to be transporting 
the psychotropic substance in contravention of section 8c of the ndps act there is no allegation against the appellant of transporting the contraband the consignment was booked in the name of the accused number 1 as per the prosecution case therefore unless it is proved that the appellant had supplied the consignment to accused number 1 or was a part of a criminal conspiracy to commit an offence under section 22c the appellant cannot be punished perusal of the evidence of accused number 3 who was examined as a defense witness shows that he was carrying on the business of messrs renuka medicals in his wife's name he stated that he issued invoices for sending fault win injections to the appellant however there is no evidence on record to show that accused number 3 procured the contraband that is the subject matter of the prosecution and handed it over to the appellant or accused number 1 we may note that the trial court and high court have relied upon the appellant's statement under section 67 of the ndps act therefore the appellant's statement recorded under section 67 of the ndps act is not admissible in evidence and cannot be read in evidence the high court in paragraph 37 of the impugned judgment has noted that a statement of the transporter ought to have been recorded to prove that the delivery of consignment containing contraband was made by accused number 3 to the appellant's shop in fact the person who allegedly transported the contraband from accused number 3 to the appellant was a crucial witness however the prosecution has withheld the evidence of this witness from the court hence an adverse inference must be drawn against the prosecution in the statement of accused number 1 under section 67 of the ndps act he stated that he purchased fault win injections from the appellant and one arun singh several times however no investigation has been carried out against arun singh there is no recovery from the appellant of any incriminating material there is no evidence to show that the contraband tried to be transported by accused number 1 by railway parcel was delivered by or on behalf of the appellant to accused number 1 there is no evidence of any conspiracy against the appellant therefore the respondent has not established the offences punishable under sections 22c and 29 of the ndps act against the appellant beyond a reasonable doubt in the charge there is no reference to the allegation of commission of an offence under section 29 of the ndps act however it is not necessary for us to go into the question of whether non framing of charge under section 29 of the ndps act has resulted in the failure of justice the reason is that there is absolutely no legal evidence on record to show that the contraband attempted to be transported by accused number 1 by a railway parcel was supplied to him by the appellant there is no evidence of the appellant's participation in any conspiracy therefore the conviction of the appellant cannot be sustained